Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to be doing a in-home plyometric workout, something that will specifically improve your speed. The first thing we'll do here is just going to be kind of get warmed up, I would say. The exercises don't need to be super specific in terms of what you want to be doing here, but I would definitely say get the quads to get warmed up, make it so we're not going to put too much pressure on the knees. I'm big on opening up within the groin, within the hip flexors, keeping it all pretty active in the motions too, so I'm not too static in what I'm doing as I go through my warm-ups here. All right, so most of it's gonna be focus on the lower body. I will add in potentially a little bit of like some core stuff and some upper body stuff, just kind of depending on how the workout's going. This should probably be about 30 to 40 minutes altogether. For this, we'll probably do more of just like the sets just all right back to back to back. Uh, there might be a little bit of some breaks, but for the most part, we wanna just be able to go one right to the other. Uh, I'm gonna try the best to add some entertainment during it, but at the beginning, We'll just be focused on what we're doing within the exercise. I'm going to start off just doing single leg kind of quick jumps, right? And when I'm doing this, I'm going to just start with the uh, this line here. You can just pick any type of line that you can find. And we just want to be getting up and down nice and quickly over, okay? And what I'm doing here is every time I jump forward and back, that's going to be one rep. And so I'm going to do 20, 15, 16, 16. 18, 19, 20. We will do the same thing on the other side. Same concept, trying to land the best I can on the inside part of the foot. Trying to keep my foot nice and flat as I'm landing the best I can. Much more difficult on this side than it is my right. Same thing on now going side to side. I'm still kind of warming up, so I'm not going super fast here. Eventually, you'd want to add a little bit more speed. All right, and I'm just gonna do ankle jumps. Again, I'm gonna do 20 ankle jumps, so I'm just keeping my legs straight, and I'm just working on getting my ankles right up and down. All right, we'll just knock out 20 of all these things. So we'll go from here. We'll just do split jumps, 20 of these. Twenty. And then I'm gonna use this for right now. Let's say either use like a bench or something that, or a chair, something that you can get some distance over. I'm gonna go 20 lateral jumps. And then we'll go right into 20 tuck jumps. With the tuck jumps, I'm jumping up and I'm driving my hips up simultaneously with these. And then I'll go 20 speed skaters. I'm gonna be on one foot, just jump side to side. Then we have single leg jumps. So I'm gonna have one foot up behind me here 
And here I'm gonna add a bit of a tuck jump too. This could be a chair, bed, something that's about like a little bit more than knee height. Or sorry, a little bit less than knee height and you should be a little bit more above or slightly above. All right, should be feeling a bit of a burn here. Nice and warmed up in the legs. Take this out and we do 20 power step ups. So I'm gonna have one foot up here and I'm just coming straight up. And 20. It's getting a little tough. Stay with it here. A little bit of rest in between. Need to quick, grab quick water, grab quick water. We're going again. I'll give you eight seconds. Five. One, and go. And 20. All right, we'll do another 20 split jumps. From here, legs apart. And 20. And then we'll go speed skaters for 20. And 20, and then I'll go quick jumps over the line. So you're feeling the legs, let's work those calves a little bit, work the ankles, nice and quick here. side. So you're getting over that line. I'm going to do an extra two because I didn't have two good reps there. Go side to side.
the left one. 20. Struggled there. We got ankle jumps. Do a uh, single leg kind of hold. We'll go like 20 pulses on the bottom here. So I have my foot up back on the bench. I'm gonna go all the way down and just quick pulse for 20. <music> 20, switch sides. We go two more times through there. Give you a second, give me a second too. Shake out those legs, stay active, you could do it. I hope you've been staying with me the whole time. Here we go. You can see me sweating, hopefully you're sweating. Twenty, switch sides. Still getting a good little bounce out the bottom there. So we're still trying to keep those muscles expanding and contracting nice and quickly. We're just controlling that range a little bit more, going to the bottom of the squat, bottom of a single leg squat. You should really be feeling this on both legs, right? So the back leg's almost more of a stretch. Front leg is doing most of the work. Other side. And 20. Check that out there. Maybe stretch out those quads a little bit and that heals your butt. We'll get that post of your chain fired up now. Get ready for doing some squat jumps. So I'm gonna go here. I'll actually turn this for you guys. And we have the bench and I'm just gonna be driving up for 20. Use that glute. Put sides. And 20. All right, we're gonna get back up and we're gonna knock out some uh, squat jumps, split jumps, 20 of each, and then we're gonna knock that out again. So first we'll go 20 squat jumps. As you can tell, I'm rehabbing from a hamstring, so I'm sweating. It's good. And 
20. Back on her backs, foot up on the bench. All right, we're gonna go one more time through. So we'll go squat jumps for 20, foot jumps for 20, and then another set of the uh, glute bridges. Nice and warm day, beautiful day in LA. Let me know where you're doing this from. Got this far, good job, kudos to you. Let me know where you're at, what time zone you in, what time you're getting this done. What do we got here? 1.15 p.m., here we go. And twenty. I don't know if I counted bad on that. I feel like I might have done 22. Last 20. That's when you know you're gonna go work out when you have a hard time counting. Just focus on getting the work done, you know? and 20. Oh yeah, definitely feeling the legs. I feel like I'm feeling it way too much in the quads though. So I'm gonna do some more glute stuff after this. Eighteen, nineteen. 20, and then I'm gonna go here. We'll just get right into like a, uh, I guess a, you're on all sixes, and we're just gonna go leg straight, and we're just extending. Keep that core locked in. Really keep your toes down if you can. Try to keep your leg as extended as you can. 18, 19. 20, then we'll go bent knee. I say that I was feeling it way more in my quad. Now when I'm doing this, I'm definitely feeling the fatigue in the glutes and in the hammies. Here we go. Eighteen, 20, then we'll go bent knee, lifting straight up. That's the great thing about plyometrics is it gets you so sweaty, it gets that heart rate going real good. Super good to uh, help you develop. Let me turn towards you, and I'm gonna go with my legs straight. 
Go a little bit more of like the glute med, outside part of the leg. Stabilize through the core as you're doing this. You don't want to have your head go outside the knee. I'm really using my left hand to brace a good amount as well as my right knee, obviously. 20. On the other side. If you've been watching my videos, I've already been telling you guys about the importance of being strong in those glutes, those hips, hip stabilizers. So best way to do that, you gotta be able to isolate them, strengthen them. I'm going straight back again here. Let me turn towards you. Hopping right into another set. Go other side. Twenty. Then we'll go straight up. And 20. All right, we're gonna go another set, quick jumps. Hopefully you got good pedal of sweat going on here, huh? We're sweating, we're getting after it. How many minutes in are we in here? 26 minutes in. It's another five at least. Quick jumps over the uh, line. Last one. These are way harder the last time. Third time through, a lot more difficult. Here we go. Then we go two feet over the box. Two feet over the box. Another set, squat jumps. Another set, split jumps. Don't call it. Take a second, read it out. Let's get good height on these. And 20. 
Last five. I'm just guessing many on time here, so should be 15. <laughs> 10 halfway. Split trucks or split jumps. Split jerks will be tough. No split jerks today. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I know I did twenty on that one. Quick stretch. I'd say do some core too. A little bit of maybe a plank, some bicycle flutter kicks. For the sake of video, since we made it more plyometric type exercises, we'll stick to the plyometrics, but I do think adding some core is always good. You can never do too much core work. I'm gonna probably hit the sled after this. Probably not right after this, got a few more videos to make, but today we're definitely hitting the sled. Definitely doing some ab roller, getting some biceps in. It's a beautiful day in LA. It's about that beach weather. Gotta get ready for the beach. Let's do it. Hey, good work. Way to show up, way to do this, way to finish. Way to get to this point. If you got to this point, you battled through, you overcame. Put in some good work today. Congrats to you. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.